Hello, in this video, we're going to find the x and y intercepts of the graph of the equation ax plus by equals c, where a is not zero and b is not zero. Let's carefully work through this solution. Let's start by looking for the x intercept. So, to find any intercept, you set the other variable equal to zero. So to find the x-intercept, we set y equal to zero. To find the y-intercept, we set x equal to zero. So we're looking for the x-intercept. We're gonna put a zero where the y is. I'm going to write down this equation one more time, except instead of y, I'm gonna put a zero there. So we have ax plus b, and then again, instead of y, I'm just gonna put a zero. And this is equal to c. B times zero is zero, so this becomes AX plus zero, and this is equal to C. So we have AX equal to C, and that's because AX plus zero is just AX. Because A is not zero, we can divide by it, and that gets rid of it, so we have X equals C over A. You could leave your answer like this, but it is better to write it in ordered pair form. So as an ordered pair, we know that x is equal to c over a. That's the first coordinate in our ordered pair. And we know that y is equal to zero. So our x-intercept would be the ordered pair c over a comma zero. Let's go ahead and find the y-intercept. So again, to find any intercept, you set the other variable equal to zero. So to find the y-intercept, we're going to set x equal to zero. I'm going to write down this equation one more time, but I'm going to put a zero where the x is instead of putting an x. So it's a times zero plus by, and that's equal to c. a times zero is zero, so we get zero plus by equals c. Zero plus by is just by, we get by equals c. And because b is not zero and y is being multiplied by b, we can divide by b to get rid of it. We get y equals c over b. And you could leave it like this, but I think it's always better to write it as an ordered pair. We know that x is zero. That's the first coordinate in our ordered pair. And the second coordinate would be c over b. So the y-intercept would be zero comma c over b. The main point to take away from this video is to, whenever you're looking for an intercept, you set the other one equal to zero. If you're looking for the x-intercept, you want to set y equal to zero. If you're looking for the y-intercept, you want to set x equal to zero. Hopefully this video has taught you some mathematics. If you feel like you've learned some math, make sure to check out more videos. Until next time, good luck.